Oh, there you are. Check this out. It is a VIP ticket to the red carpet screening of Disney Pixar's brand new film, The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> now, it says here, all I've got to do before I go is complete a few challenges that follow in the footsteps of Arlo the Dinosaur. I love a good challenge, me. That must be my car. Boom! These people know how I roll. The good dinosaur access all areas. Count me in. Coming up, I take a walk on the wild side as I explore the world of Disney Pixar's epic comedy adventure, The Good Dinosaur. When Disney Pixar are coming up with the ideas for their movies, they always start with a what if. What if our toys come to life when we're not looking? What if there really are monsters inside the cupboard? And what if we could see the emotions inside our minds? And their new movie has a huge what if. What if all those millions of years ago, the asteroid that drove the dinosaurs to extinction missed the Earth entirely. The Good Dinosaur is an epic journey into a past that almost was, where a young Apatosaurus named Arlo makes an unlikely friendship with a human boy he calls Spot. Together, they help each other to survive as they journey through the prehistoric wilderness. Talking about the wilderness, where are we? I think my driver might be lost. Hey, you must be Nigel. Let's get going. Out you come. Oh. You are, right, mate. Um, I think I might be in the wrong place. No, no, you're not. My name is Jay from Bear Grylls Survival Academy. Welcome to Dartmoor. This is a thousand square miles of wilderness used by the army for hostile environment training. It's barren, <laughs> it's exposed, and in an instant, the weather can change out here. That's what makes it so dangerous. That's all well and good, mate, but I think I need to phone my agent and... Get you won't be needing that phone, OK? You've got to wake up. You've got 24 hours to survive out here. I'm the only guy that can help you, so let's get moving. OK, I get it. Come on, see you, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I know enough about it to see what's coming. In The Good Dinosaur, Arlo learns to survive in the wilderness with the help of his friend Spot. And it looks like that's exactly what my challenge is going to be if I want to get to that VIP screening. Arlo's adventure begins with a hair-raising tumble in a river. And judging by all this safety gear, I think I'm about to get my hair wet. Wish me luck. So, in the wild, in a survival situation, the ability to cross rough terrain is crucial. This is the river, and your first challenge is to cross it. OK, in you go. It's freezing! What's the depth like? It's as bad as it looks. OK, pick a spot on the other side of the river and aim for it. Whoa, the current's picking up a bit now. Jay, I don't think I can make it. OK, if it's going to take you, let it take you. Where am I going to come out? Rapids are coming up. Use those arms. Bring yourself in. Good effort. That's pretty hairy. Remember, I've been supervised by a trained professional. Don't try this at home. As Jay likes to say, there's only one safe way to cross a river. Use a bridge. Ah! Wasn't exactly graceful, but you completed your first challenge. Well done. Cheers, mate. Next thing we've got to do is got to get you warm and dry and get a shelter belt. You ready? Yep. Let's go. I can't say I've built a bush shelter before, but I love those home design shows, so I reckon I could do better than Arlo. Check out my crib, guys. Look at this. I've got a little fire pit. I've got some nice windows here, a good solid roof. Look, and check out my door action. Look at that. Jay, what do you think? OK, we've got a few problems here, Nigel. You've built a flat roof, so when it rains hard, the rain's going to go straight through. You've built it out of moss. It's going to suck up all the water around, and you've built it in a dip. So, again, it's going to flood inside. 10 out of 10's for style, but it's going to rain tonight. Have a good night. Sounds like it's going to be a long night. <laughs> As
As I settle into my homemade crib for the night, most of the wildlife around here is just starting to wake up. And as night falls on the good dinosaur, Spot and Arlo are mesmerized as hundreds of fireflies take to the skies. The good thing about being out here, miles away from the nearest streetlight, is that you may get the chance to see the cousins to Arlo and Spot's fireflies. We call them glowworms. Now, you'd think that they would live somewhere really exotic, but if you know where to look for them, you can find them right here in the UK. Do you know what? I think I'm starting to enjoy this. See you in the morning. Morning, guys. Oh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Oh, oh what's this on my? Uh, oh, great food. You're not going to eat that, are you? Great source of protein. We're going to go out and find lots of other things to eat. Come on, let's go. Are you sure? This dude's crazy. Arlo has to forage for his food too, and as always, Spot is around to help out. OK, Nigel, this looks like a good place to uh, find some edible creepy crawlies. Let's okay. have a look. OK, lift that log up, see what's inside. In here? In here, go for it. Oh, oh. looking good. We've got some mealworms in here. Straight on the tongue. That. Uh, on the tongue. And crunch. Oh, beautiful. You'll go. All right. Now, remember, Jay's an expert. Don't go looking for mealworms on your own. Straight on your tongue, just to warm it up a little bit. Nice one. And crunch away. Crunch away. Ah, what's it like? It's pretty rank, but if it's going to get me some VIP tickets to go and see this film, I'm game. Right, time to get out of here before Jay gets me hunting more weird wildlife. <laughs> really well with these challenges. I've passed every one so far. The only thing left to do is to get out of here. Now, we've bonded, yeah? We've eaten bugs together, we've crossed rivers, we've spent the night in the wilderness. You're gonna help me, right? Nice try, Nigel, but this last challenge, you're on your own. If you want to catch your lift, you've got one hour to get back to where we started. Good luck. Oh, looks like I'm on my own. I get a move on. You know what? I'm just going to go round. Hello! This is hopeless. I've done all those challenges and it's been an absolute waste of time. I'm probably never going to get to see this movie. I'm still stuck out here in the wilderness. Hold up. That's my limo. Wait. Wait. Wait up. Wait.
Nice driving, Parker. And you thought I wasn't going to make it. Time to hit red carpet. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. 